Okay, so you've seen the cows go out, you've seen the little heifers go out, and it's now time for the big heifers. So uh, we kept these in, you probably, they're just behind me, look. We kept these in a bit longer than the rest because uh, it's just a case of getting yourself in the right order for put, putting them out. And also, I didn't want to let them out in this field here until the cows had finished grazing below because I was worried they were going to get in with them and they will try and get in with them if I left them out, especially as one was bullying earlier. So today's the day. Jack's here. Going to open the gate. I'm going to do, that's a bit tricky, that latch. So, um, well, there is one bullying. That's the one we just served with the AI today. 219, that'll be. Right, so I'm going to just... Right, Jack, do you want to hold the gate? So these have been outside before, but not this year. So, yeah, go. One. I don't know what they... Let's see how they go. I don't know how they'll react. Probably slightly different. They might just put their head down on the grass, because obviously the green grass is lush. They're straight on that, look. Whether they'll run around, I don't know. At first, it's a case of them thinking, hang on a minute, are we supposed to be out here? Are we going to be in trouble? Is this good? This is good. I like it. Oh, let's have a skip. Here we go. Look at that one. Here we go. So it's a bit of a combination of, I want to be out skipping, but also this grass tastes lovely. You can hear a lot of them just sniffing. Head down, miss, isn't it? Oh, that one's going. They just seem to kick their back ends up. Look, that one. They have a little skip. And then, and then they're... So these are... These are our older bunch of heifers. You saw the younger ones uh, last week, I think it was. These are the older ones. So these will be probably in calf, or hopefully nearly all of them are in calf. There we go, they're taking off now. Blimey. I'll tell you one thing, you don't want to be in, in the way of these when they... <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at this. Here we go. Loopy Loo. So you can see why I didn't want the cows next door to them. They're excited. If the cows had been just the other side of this fence, I know exactly what would happen. They would rush to the fence like this. The cows would rush to them because they'd be like, oh, who are they? And before you know it, that fence would be flattened. Look at the, I'm saying about the weight of them. Look at them. And they're off. Look at that. Because they're big, they're big and powerful. Look at this. Like a racehorse, aren't they? Look at that. The one thing about cattle, you've got to be careful around them, haven't you? Oh, look, here we go. Don't, don't want to leave your mates behind. Here we go. I think they'll do a lap of honour. They quite often do a lap of honour when they... Look, here we go. It's like they do a lap of honour around the field. Do you think they'll come back here in a minute? Yeah. Or well, they might go the other way. Right. Straight to the fence and stop. Right. Have a little sniff. And do you think they'll come back? Yeah. Here they come. Here they come. Which way are you going to go? Oh, we're going to go this way again. All right. Bunched up like a shoal of fish. They're finding out their perimeter. Right? They are, aren't they? They're checking out where they are. Right, it's in the fat fence. They're going to that now. Yeah. They're going to go back in the yard. You're going back in the yard? Look. What? <laughs> always makes me laugh. They always go back in the yard, don't they? Yeah, and then they come back out again. How can they... Here we go. Oh, this one's coming, coming to us. Better. Here they come. All of them. Whee! Stop at the fence. Woo. So there isn't a massive amount of grass out here. This this will be all right for a few days. We'll probably keep buffer feeding a bit of silage in the, in the ring feeder. They've got we've still got a bit of silage at the back of the clamp, which we're using up. So we're going to empty the clamp this year. So these will be out, and then we'll put them down the fields with the younger ones because that's where the younger ones are now. And there's a swallow. I don't know if you saw that. A swallow just went by. Nature is finest. Swallows, apple tree blossom, heifers running out. All right, should we leave these? They're having their breakfast. Should we go and have our breakfast? Yep. What are you having for breakfast this morning, Jack? Toast. Toast. Anything else? No. Just toast. 
I might have two slices of toast, two bowls of cereal, and a yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I normally have. Is it? Yeah. You're a three sausage man now, aren't you? Yeah, I eat three. Three, three sausages. Well, the He's eating me out of the house and home now. This is Jack's growing, growing lad. Like these heifers have grown well. Jack's starting to grow, aren't they? Aren't you? And he's um, we had a barbecue the other night, and I had to fight for the sausages. I got my first teenager. Oh, it? nightmare! The rate I'm going, he'll, he's going. He'll, him and Harry will be eating more food than me soon. Right. Anyway, so that's that's it for uh, heifer release. They're happily running around here, and there they go. See you all soon. They're gonna eat that stuff.